Jerry West, Shotgun Shook, Fonz, Ad, DNA, T-Top, John John the Don, Ace Ami, Real Sick, Hollow the Don, Disaster, New Jersey Twerk, Tay Rock, and Rum Nitty. Some of the culture's biggest names, all on one night, Two. What up, though? Y'all know what it is, man. Big on TV. Y'all know what time it is. Salute Uncle Juan. Shout out Stu Dog. Wait a minute. Wait. We back in the motherfucking whip. You heard? I done sent all of these other niggas in the house. I done sent Goods and Piper Boy. Motherfucking angry fan told all of them niggas to go back in the motherfucking house and then I ran my ass in the house. What type of shit is that? Niggas like show. How you do that? I told everybody, look, I got this car shit. Y'all know that. Drug can see we on the motherfucking move. Niggas sitting still. I'm out here risking life. Risking, risking breaking the law. Getting tickets for you niggas. The least you can do, hit that motherfucking sub, hit that motherfucking like, drop a comment for your boy. We reply to everything, you heard? But what's good with y'all, man? Just came in here to chop it up about this uh mediocre ass summer madness. How y'all feeling about that shit? I said that like I'm like this live, like I got a chat in this bitch. Coming soon. But, like I said, y'all could always drop a motherfucking comment. But, um, Summer Man, this was alright. Alright. Just alright. I didn't catch every battle. So, forgive me on that. And this ain't no recap. I'm really just about to just talk some shit now that I'm back in the motherfucking whip, you heard? So, yeah. So, I didn't see, um,. Who was the first two battles? I want to say... I didn't see Ace on me and Rum Nitty. And I heard that that was one of the best battles of the night. So I'm kind of sick I missed that. But shout out to the bootleg gang. You know we're going to see that shit sooner than later. Nigga not about to wait uh, five months for that bitch to hit the app. Three years for that bitch to hit YouTube. You heard so... I'll come back at a later date and probably review that. And um, what else did I miss? Disaster and real sick. I didn't, I didn't see that either. And I heard I ain't miss shit. I heard this just dropped like the worst YouTube. I mean, the worst URL battle ever. So. I ain't in no rush to go see that, even though Sick is my nigga. I had Sick winning anyway, in my prediction. Because not only did Disaster just fucking battle easy, but I don't know, it's just something about that style. That shit just transferred better, you know, on, on other leagues. I'll leave it at that. Um, like I said, salute to, um, oh shit, hold on. Salute the Ace and Rum. Um, I'll be catching that. Uh, what else? I I heard Jerry and DNA, but I wasn't. You know that anytime DNA is on the screen, that shit is a smoke break stow run battle. You know what I'm saying? So I was in and out of that one. Pause. Um, for, for you freaky niggas, so that shit weird. But um, no gay shit over here. But I was um. I wasn't 100% tuned in to the DNA and Jerry West battle. Um, just prefacing everything first before I um, before I let y'all know what's really going on. So what did I see? Let me think. Because we doing this all up the top. We in motion, as y'all can see. We don't do car blogs and just sit there. We on the move. So um, let me lock in. Who did I see first? I don't know. So how about I just tell y'all everything? 
man. We ain't gotta go in no motherfucking order. This big unk shit. We do what we want. Um, so I remember watching Shug and Fonz, and I'm not a. F <coughs> this how I know Fonz won. I'm not. I don't even like that nigga. I don't even like Fonz, and I thought that this shit was alright. Now when I do my little recast and review the shit. I'm not reciting nobody bars. I'm not finna, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't charge niggas to have y'all own opinion of the shit. I ain't telling you what rounds I think niggas won. You go watch it and you tell me how you got the shit called. I got fines winning. Um, not that Suge was weak. Because Suge definitely been on, on some getting better type shit. But... I don't know. I just like what Fonz was doing a little better. So, I gave that one to Fonz. Let me think. What else we got on the motherfucking card? T-Type and John John. Um, I want to say I missed part of the third of they shit. Damn, did I even watch this shit? No, now that I think about it, nigga, like, it seemed like I done missed all the goddamn battles. But, um... We all know about what just happened with John John and T-Top before the battle. This nigga John John thinking he's slick trying to slide on T-Top baby moms for shit, ho. I mean, we already know. This is a uh, public knowledge. Uh, salute the arsenal. <clears throat> Your baby moms are drunk. The trees, as they, as they, as the young kids would say, that bitch choosing. She fucking and sucking, and these niggas want a motherfucking piece of the bitch. <laughs> so John John think he's slick. Talking about, no, I was just, you know what I'm saying, gonna use this shit for the battle. No, nigga, you heard that bitch shit fire, nigga. <laughs> y'all know y'all be shuffling these battle rap hoes. I guess everybody done with fear. <laughs> Let me stop. So anyway... That was before the battle. So, Top said he addressed it before the battle so he wouldn't have to switch up his rounds. So, that was a good move. Smart play. Uh, I'm not even going to call a winner on this one. I'm going to watch this one again. But like I said, I was... I wasn't fully tuned in. Some motherfuckers, you just got to watch twice anyway. Cause it's like, who the fuck giving John John they undivided attention for real? So I'm gonna watch that one again. <coughs> I like what they both was doing though. I ain't gonna lie. From what I seen. Like I said, I think I missed a little bit of the third. But fuck it. We gonna keep it going. What else I see? Um, Who else was on this motherfucking car, yo? I miss Rum and Nitty and I mean Rum Nitty and Ace Diz DNA and Jerry West. Salute to Jerry West. Like Like I said, I was I was tuned in but not a hundred percent, but still I went with Jerry West. DNA just a DNA just here at this point. Like, you know that you can call a nigga, give him a good motherfucking 10, to, you know what I'm saying? Put on for you. That nigga a car filler. That's why that nigga got like a hundred battles. And where the fuck B and A cake at? They want to give cakes to all of these motherfuckers that done did all these damn battles. DNA got about a hundred of these bitches. I ain't seen they get that nigga a tooth of cake or nothing. Like... Where your Jamaican trip? You done did twice as much as this nigga rock. That's besides the point. Jerry West. I'm giving it to Jerry West. Once again, I'm not calling no rounds. Y'all can do all of that. Y'all might even have a different winner, you know? But, um... What else, what else popped off? Because before I get to twerking, uh, hollow... And Tay Rock and uh, Ab, I want to make sure I got, I got everybody else on out the way. Was that it, y'all? Ab and Room. 
DNA, and, I mean, D is a real C. Suge and Fonz, DNA and Jerry West. Fuck it. We going to motherfucking Hollow and Twerk. So, I'm not a Hollow fan. And I'm going to get into it in another blog a little later about, I, I got a deep dive into my explanation of how I feel about these, that class of rappers, dog. Because I thought about that shit and I'm like, I don't like Verb, I don't like Hitman, I don't like Holla. Like, is it just that era? Like, I feel like we talking about real rap now because... It seems like it's a whole a whole era that I just I just think that shit light. Even Tay Rock, but I'll get I'll get to that. But um uh, I don't know, some of these niggas just They get that goat stamp and I just don't see how or why. Motherfuckers count longevity for uh as greatness, like just because a nigga been around for a long ass time, don't mean that these niggas goaded. You know what I'm saying? Niggas hold big T every chance they get. Cortez probably one of the first niggas in this shit, and them niggas suck. So just because you around for a long time, don't mean you that. And I just say all of that to say, Hollow, that shit was terrible to me, personally. Terrible. Like, not cold. Not saying that you ain't have a line or two. Not saying everything that he spit was trash, but that shit was not. That shit wasn't about to do nothing to work. That nigga just too excited. And I want to say this. Shout out to Twerk. <coughs> Salute to that nigga because this is probably the most prepared I've ever seen this nigga. In my, um, in my life, like to the point where he's stopping, not choking, he's stopping and telling y'all, I got more. Y'all want me to keep going? Nigga, shit, we, nigga, you could barely get up here and give us the three rounds that you come with. So, what you mean, do we want you to keep going? So, I'm, I'm scared. I'm like, damn, man, he, he about to do too much. This nigga gonna fuck up when he could have been stopped. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you gotta watch New Jersey twerk battle holding your damn breath. Like, alright, when this nigga finna fuck up. But he didn't. And this nigga had lengthy rounds for, for motherfuckers, bro. Like, this nigga really snapped on this nigga hollow. Um I get a battle to twerk easily. And then I think Hollow knew. Hollow knew it was over. Shit, I'm a freestyle this whole third. He just threw that out there so we knew that that third was about to be ass just off the top. Then you come with the paperwork. Like, we kind of already know all of this shit. Everybody's still bringing up that purse snatcher shit. Like, he called the nigga Ja 400. It's J 400. I'm just like, come on, Hollow, man. You've been around a little too long. It wasn't that, man. Twerk got that, for sure. Twerk with the dub. And then, let's come to Tay Rock and Ab. You know, once again, Tay Rock is another nigga, bro, that I feel... Hey, I seen this in... I seen... Damn, I don't, I don't remember who shit I was in, but I saw this in the comments, and it was probably the perfect way to explain Tay Rock. Tay Rock got amazing delivery. But the bars don't be there to me personally. Like, you could deliver some bullshit amazingly. And that's exactly what Tay Rock be doing to me. I don't know. Like, and then he want to say that light bars. And you right. You're 100% correct. That shit be light bars. Like, there's no death to this nigga writing. That shit be like. Mm -hmm. You get a round on your head, that's a halo. Like, he say shit that you could just freestyle and say. Like, it's no... That shit feel like it's no thought process to the shit. It's easy bars. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, shit. Excuse me. But, yeah, Rock always been one of them I just thought was... Another nigga that get 
more praise than he should. I'm gonna do a whole list of these niggas, man. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, hit that sub, hit that like. God damn, y'all see how the sun just hit a nigga? Bing! It's all good, nigga. I'm gonna start. Nigga shining out here, you heard? Y'all niggas hit that sub, hit them likes, hit them comments. Y'all tell me who y'all had with it. I want to say that that's everybody. That's every battle. Av, salute to Av. Because, um, yeah, what that nigga did to, what that nigga did to Tay Rock was nasty to me. That was, that was a motherfucking body. For real. And I don't think, I think Tay Rock went harder than he wanted to. And it still wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga Alf was really chopping some shit up. He was getting in depth. He was explaining the, the little K gang shit. Just Al came and that bitch did what the fuck he was supposed to do. That's what happened. So salute to Alf. Smoke this nigga rock. In my opinion, everything is opinionated. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all might hit the comments and have Tay Rock winning. And I'm going to snap on you in the comments because you crazy. But that's what the comment section for. So, as y'all can see, I'm here where I'm supposed to be. I'm done with you niggas, man. Salute the URL for putting on this motherfucking mid, summer midness. Um, yeah, man, hit that sub. Salute Uncle Juan. Shout out Stu Dog. We out. On Sunday, August the 27th. Fans from around the world will be tuned in to Caffeine at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the Super Bowl of MC Battling URL's Summer Madness 13. As the days draw closer and the excitement continues to build, many are asking, what else is on the car? So I bring up your record and everything, because I want to uh, travel to this point, segue to this point. You know Summer Man is coming when you start to get all these calls. And I think this battle would work. I like the Ace Ami matchup. Ace Ami takes his Twitter and says, who's outside? Rum Nitty responds to that, and that issue do won't work against me, though. I in that little street. So no, that is the last, that is the last battle that has to be secret. I don't give a fuck what you think about that promo. I guarantee you ain't gonna be no backpedaling on this stage. Thought you was gonna keep me off the biggest event of the year? Money on my head, the best stuff is they all movers. When you was trying to get Hitman off your back, I was stuck in a shark suit. It's all stupid. It's all stupid. Work for this. Earn this. Blood, sweat, tears, effort. All this promo I've been doing. Chasing niggas through the city. The next snappy. Sound like Rex laughing. I ain't got a. Fuck! It doesn't matter how well you promote. It doesn't matter how well you sell a fight. If when the battle comes, you're not ready. Like I ain't one of the greatest ever. You're welcome, Mace. See where all that backpedaling will get you. You're on the biggest stage of your career. August 27th. You earned the right for us to be able to get a chance to fail. Walk with me. Rum Nitty versus Ace Ami. Over the years, the Ultimate Rap League has been the premier platform where artists can express themselves freely. Oftentimes, competitors step on stage knowing that at any second, their darkest moments can be revealed in front of the world. However, the honorable competitors of the sport know what they have signed up for and accept everything the opposition has to deliver or expose without panic or worry.
This nigga weird. But shit you gonna say in the battle if you say it outside or how you laid in the streets. Plus the shit not even hot. The shit you say gonna really be weak. They only react to it because they cannot believe I'm gonna let you say the shit to me. It's not just the competitors. Even the owners of the Ultimate Rap League aren't safe. Have I ever had your number? But after that interview with Jay Black, you couldn't even shake my ass! <laughs> Am I lying, Beasley? These forms of attack are part of what makes our culture great. We have never prevented artists from speaking freely, nor have we ever edited the outcome of a personal attack. Battle rap must remain in its purest form, unrestricted. Whether you want to run, you want to turn, two weeks prep, you in a champion of the year running, I show up every time. Looks like I gotta add another legend to my resume. I don't duck no smoke. I don't give a fuck about no NDAs. This URL. Fuck it. Summer madness coming. Tell DNA was something. I want Solomon back and not as one of the judges. They like his son. Tell Atlas run it. Get disaster over here. I'm trying to battle my cousin. Jersey. Hey, yo. hey Diz. You could talk about whatever you want. Because I'm going to talk about A. Back to back. He tried to bribe Rex. That's a fact. And you are going to go down for introducing the NBA's in the battle rap. Boy, this is for the culture. I'm whipping your ass. Because he's an industry rap. This guy is one of us disrespecting the craft. So I'm going to revoke his visitor's pass. Try to guy get me to sign this paper. You think I'm going to listen to that? Ah. There you go, bro. This shit is trash. I brought an extra because I knew this fool would rip it in half. Yeah. <laughs> Disaster versus real sick. The complete Summer Madness 13 lineup. Jerry West, Shotgun Shook, Bonds, Ad, DNA, T-Top, John John the Don, Ace Ami, Real Sick, Hollow the Don, Disaster, New Jersey Twerk, Tay Rock, and Rum Nitty. Some of the culture's biggest names. All on one night, on one stage. URL's Summer Madness 13. It all goes down Sunday, August the 27th, Warehouse Live. Tickets are on sale now at warehouselive.com. Doors open at 2 p.m. Battles begin at 3 p.m. Houston time, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you can't make it out live and in person, you can catch all of the action live on pay-per-view on Caffeine at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss history. Be a part of it. URL, the worldwide leaders of MC battle culture. You can't copy respect. <laughs>